My name is Mike and I left the army last year. In writing my CV, something I had never done before, and researching the information of service leavers, I realised I had skills to offer. Veterans can bring fresh ideas and practices which have been tried, tested and implemented in their previous uniform work, in addition to a variety of skills which they themselves have not considered because in their previous working roles it was considered the norm or basic benchmark. This presentation outlines a variety of skill sets that the veteran community will bring to the workplace and will then outline specifically what skills former military photographers can bring to a medical illustration department. So a little about me and some statistics. I did over 26 years service, I served in three different cat badges. Um, I served for 13 years as an army photographer and videographer, which included two tours of duty to Afghanistan. I tried to estimate how many images I had taken. It was numberless really, but I could easily say it was over 100K of images taken with days literally of video filmed. I joined the army in 1996 to the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers. And yes, my mum knew where I was. And yes, I looked about 12. But when the chance came for me to become an army photographer, it was a no brainer and I jumped at the chance. It was a job that took me to the combat camera teams in Afghanistan and also as the photographer for Task Force Helmand. Being an army photographer also took me all over Europe and beyond covering everything that the British army does. It was a job I absolutely enjoyed and would have stayed for as long as I could. The images in the first part of this presentation are all taken by me, but later ones are MOD Crown Copyright. Personal skills. Veterans will have a strong worth ethic and will be organized and smart in their appearance and will tackle all tasks given with initiative and a resourceful can-do attitude with plenty of injects of humor. The British Army for a long time has had the mantra, beg, borrow, steal. This is not in the literal sense, of course, but it's developed soldiers' understanding that they should complete tasks in any way they could, using usually under-resourced, often critical, out-of-the-box thinking. They will be analytical. They will be able to evaluate data quickly and will be able to communicate this quickly and effectively up and down their command chain. They can listen. They can take orders but will also know when to give them. For veterans, personal skills training began on the first day of their training and became part of their military life. Motivated. Military training creates highly motivated employees who will set their own goals. They will achieve them. They will naturally seek responsibilities, but will not be afraid to ask for help or guidance. They will be punctual. They will be where they're supposed to be five minutes before an unallocated time, in the right clothes, with the right equipment. Teamwork. Camaraderie underpins military life. Veterans have spent years relying on their teammates whilst being relied upon in turn. As a result, veterans understand the strength of teamwork and will strive to be a valued team member and will know how diverse people can work together to achieve a common objective. Technical skills. Veterans who have been trained in specific roles are trained to very high standards, which will be current and usually come with modern qualifications. Training will be well structured with no nonsense approach using maximum resources, which are often on par or better than the industry standards. The military uses some of the most sophisticated technology in the world. So working in the armed forces can require a high degree of skill and education whilst also maintaining contemporary knowledge to keep with current trends and technological updates. Adaptability. Things change frequently for the military with the old phrase, no plan survives first contact. This could be environment, location, weather, thus resulting in individuals who can adapt and change depending on their situation. Veterans are well used to the effects of shifting goalposts and will adapt in any situation. They will likely moan, as all veterans moan, but it's part of the dry humour. They will adapt and move forward with any changes. Diversity and inclusion. The modern British military represents many different backgrounds. Veterans have worked with all types of people, regardless of race, gender, religion, 
ethnicity and sexual orientation, as well as mental, physical and attitudinal capabilities. Veterans have usually travelled extensively and understand the nuances of international communication with or without an interpreter. They will have the compassion to deal with situations with empathy and sensitivity and will still provide task results regardless of situational complexities. Leadership. From early on, the British military trained its forces with leadership skills. Veterans can and will execute responsibility for resources, tasks and their own behaviour. This special training consists of inspiring leadership in others and motivating others, setting examples, delegating tasks and giving clear and detailed direction. Additionally, veterans work in a highly team-orientated and hierarchical environment. They can teach, mentor and coach others easily. Other skills. Now there are a range of skills that the British Legion give as being part of military backgrounds. Initiative, planning, numeracy, interpersonal skills, facilitating, the list goes on. The military photographers. In addition to the skill sets I've mentioned so far, I've picked a few extra skills of military photographers. Currently, there are around 140 serving photographers across the armed forces, with a steady stream of service photographers leaving every year. Former military photographers can pick up the nuances of any department quite quickly and will likely offer ways to improve it. Well trained. Military photographers have been trained to a high technical standard, allowing them to functionally collect imagery in any environment, regardless of conditions and difficulties. Dual role. In addition to photography, all photographers are now trained in video, learning the ability to deliver a broad range of collect skills to deliver video production, stills and podcasts for all the MOD social media requirements, which is very similar from what I've seen to the NHS's requirements. All military photographers are taught using the Adobe Creative Suite and often branch out with other skills such as animation and after effects. In addition, many jobs in the services have their own systems and workflow to be adhered to, allowing the photographer to pick up other departments quite easily. People skills. Military photographers are trained to approach people for imagery. They learn to approach strangers and have adapted ways to be able to create imagery quickly and effectively. Now my training group was often taken to locations around the Midlands to practice our people skills. On one occasion it was a small hamlet near Wolverhampton that had a garage, three shops and a pub which was closed. We were told our shot list was six people at work images to be done that morning with Prince due that afternoon. So you had to be able to quickly build a report, get images and be gone before the subject was born. That meant your communication skills and photographic acts, as I like to call it, needed to be on point. This training lends itself well to the world of clinical photography. A military photographer veteran can quickly assess a patient and will adapt their given act to suit the patient and provide a service that is sensitive in the approach. Working for the NHS, I've come across a number of similarities. My team at Withenshaw have been one of the best teams I've ever had and have been able to work with. The camaraderie I have received whilst working here has been, you know, like any military department I could have worked in. So much so that I feel that my transition from military to civilian has been made easier for the team that's around me. Its ethos is very similar to what I remember in the army and what I was under in the army. And its values are very similar to my own, similar to that of the armies. There is also the staff veterans network that I'm now also part of and working towards being more involved in. In addition, MFT has signed the Forces Covenant, which basically gives me 10 days special leave per year as I'm now a reservist. MFT also has a gold award from the Defence Employer Recognition Scheme. MFT is also a Veteran Aware Trust and has begun outreach into the community to help with veterans' needs. Finally, I have found the NHS to feel very much like the military. I feel like in joining a medical illustration department, it doesn't feel alien to me due to the many similarities that pertain to the job. Of course, the subject matter is different, but the processes and rules and regulations feel the same. In my view, former military photographers make for good clinical photographers. I used a number of references in this presentation, and my email address is at the bottom 
should you require it if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.